Welcome back, Source Nation. Now here's your host, Kathy B. Welcome back, Source Nation. Welcome back. I'm definitely the ladies here in the lounge. We have about two hours before we lose the live feed. Telephone number to reach us tonight is 619-924-0933. Again, 619-924-0933. I tell you, we have some dynamic ladies here in the studio, and I want to take a moment to thank my first guest for coming in. I had the opportunity to speak with a wonderful dynamic lady. I had the opportunity to speak with Miss Norissa Williams and tonight's conversation was all about the article on Witty is Sexy. Now, for more information on Narissa, you definitely can go out to Kathy B, Source Radio Network, as well as our main station page, Source Radio Network. Well, I tell you, this young lady that we have coming into the studio is nothing but marvelous. <laughs> She is doing some wonderful and amazing things um, in our community and really to empower women and get them to understand that you are beautiful and you are successful and you can do anything that you want to do within the business world. I am speaking of none other than Miss Cherie Good. Now, a little bit about Cherie before I bring her in to the studio. Cherie is the founder and CEO of Total Harmony Enterprises. She is also a wife, a mother, as well as the creator of the annual Let's Get Serious Health, Wellness, and Fitness Expo. She's also a licensed practical nurse for over 25 years, and she has the number one, that's right, Source Nation, the number one Amazon best-selling international author, speaker, and a coach. The book um, is, is amazing. So definitely I'm excited to have Miss Cherie here in the studio with us. I do believe Cherie is here. Cherie, hello. How are hello, you? Hello, how are you? Super around. excited to be here. <laughs> I'm excited. Super excited. To I'm excited, too. You know, um, we have definitely been uh, working on getting you here for quite some time and um, talking about different things in regards to women. But before we jump into the conversation, if you will, please, can you take a moment just to introduce yourself once again to the ladies in the lounge and definitely Source Nation? Yes, yes, indeed. Thanks for having me, first of all. I'm super excited to be here in the lounge with you. And uh, as she mentioned, I am Cherie. I'm good. I'm an author, speaker. I'm a wife. I'm a mom. I'm a caretaker to my mom. So, you know, my plate can get pretty full, but I, I still find time to educate the public on ways to recharge their batteries. I've been dubbed the recharge strategist. And so I'm sure we'll talk about that a little bit uh, more in detail shortly. I'm also the founder of the annual Let's Get Serious and Recharge Health, Wellness, Fitness Expo that I host in Maryland. We're seven years strong, and it brings out uh, about 1,500 attendees every year just for a day of health assessment, healthy eating, working out, and just having a good family fun day. Awesome. Well, you know, Cherie, before I brought you in, I was sharing with the ladies, um, you know, exactly what you are doing really to begin to empower us and for us to really look at our lives, not only what we see in the physical, but really talk about how what we're dealing with can affect our mind, our body, and our spirit. And just as you said, you have been dubbed as the recharge strategist. So let's talk about that because, you know, our lives can be so taxing, especially if we're doing multiple things, if we're a wife, we're a mother, we're working at corporate America, or, you know, we, we're entrepreneurs. We're just doing a whole lot which can pretty much spread us out to spin. So talk to us about that and, and uh, share with us some of the things that you're doing in order for us to continue to be successful in our lives. Sure. Yeah, as you mentioned, you know, like we, we are a busy, busy society. Um, we're always on the go, but all of us get exactly 24 hours a day. Nobody gets extra hours. And so we're trying to cram all of these roles that we play in life together to try to fit them all in in a 24-hour period, and, and it can become uh, cumbersome to us. And so um, I teach recharging, recharging your batteries. What does it mean to recharge? It means that we're rejuvenating our mind, body, and spirit. We're giving our time, ourselves time to relax. 
and just to stay in the moment and actually appreciate the things that we've accomplished in our life uh, and just sometimes to just take a breather. You know, we, we rip and run, and sometimes we just don't value the fact that we're even alive to be breathing. And so the first thing we do when we're upset or we're stressed out is we stop breathing. So I teach uh, my clients to make purposeful breaths where you're inhaling in through your nose and you're exhaling out of your mouth. And when you're exhaling mm-hmm. it, you're releasing those toxins, whether it be mental toxins, physical toxins, whatever it is that's weighing you down and stressing you out, to let it out with the exhalation um, every time that you exhale out of your mouth. So I teach, you know, quick ways, but, you know, simple, inexpensive ways to just reduce stress, to relax, rejuvenate, and just renew your mind, body, and spirit. Wow, that that is amazing. Now, with that being said, what are you finding when you're speaking uh, with your clients when we are very stressed? And just as you said, we have a lot going on in our lives, and it can become cumbersome if we do not take care of the situation. What are you finding that we're not doing that we should be doing on a day-to-day basis to where stress won't affect us that much? Well, um, as I had mentioned before, we're not taking that moment just to stay in the moment. And when I say stay in the moment, it means, like, even if you just take 10 minutes each day, out of your busy 24 hours, take 10 minutes each mm-hmm. day just to stop, unplug from everything else and the world around you, and just hone in to yourself and what's going on with your body, what's going on with your mind. Just breathe and actually just stay there in that moment. Appreciate what you've accomplished that day, that moment. When you do that, it provides you with clearer thought processes. So when you're stressed out, you know, when you're stressed out, you're not able to make wise decisions. Most of us, if we're stressed mm-hmm. out, we're just scrambling. <laughs> we're, we're, we're like we're on edge, and we can't oh, get yes. that next project done. You know, so staying in the moment helps you to actually have the clarity that you need so that you can work your way through whatever situational problem that is really weighing you down. And, and so just staying in the moment, you know, especially as women. Um, my, my prime audience is women, but the information applies to men as well. We take care of everybody else, but normally we're the last ones on the plate to get taken care of because we want to make sure the kids are well fed, the house is clean, the laundry is done. Everybody is taken care of, but a lot of times we neglect ourselves. And so I really focus on having women schedule themselves on their calendar. Write yourself in on your calendar because you're your most important appointment. I love that, and I want to stay right there um, if we can, Sheree, because I I will use myself an ex- as an example where, you know, one point in my life I felt I was being selfish if I took time away from my boys. Now they're, they're uh, 23 and 16, so it's like, okay, you, you can go and do things for yourself. Mama's going to do her. <laughs> mm-hmm. But, you know, at one point in time, I just felt like I couldn't do that. And you're right. You know, at that point, I, I was a career woman. I, I was a wife, a mother, and I had other things that I wanted to do. But I failed to neglect that I need to set some time some time aside for me, whether it was just to go and, and, and get, you know, a, a mani patty or mm-hmm. maybe just read a fun book or take in a movie. I just did not do that. And I found that I wore myself out even more because I didn't do that. So what would you say to the women that are feeling like I did at one point in time, feeling like it's selfish? to do that, take time away from others. What are your thoughts about that? I, my, my saying is self-care is not selfishness. That's, that's what I teach. Self-care is not selfishness. Okay. If you're taking care, you can't take care of anyone else adequately until you care for yourself. And so mm-hmm. when you're neglecting yourself, the rest of the people that you're trying to serve, they're not getting the best version of you. So if you actually want to give the best version of yourself to the world, to your family, to your children, then you have to be a whole person first. So if any part of you out of this total total being, because we have to treat the entire person, not just one part, because, you know, Mm -hmm. we're whole, so every piece needs to be treated. So if your mind is not right, if your body is not right, your spirit is not right, you're going to feel some missing pieces. There's going to be some links that are missing. So in order to serve 
others. You have to be whole yourself. And so I, I just constantly teach that self-care is not selfishness. And like I said, it doesn't take money. It doesn't take a lot of money. You don't have to spend any money to take care of yourself sometimes. It could just be mm-hmm. 10 minutes of just uh, take a 10-minute bubble bath. I mean, <laughs> get yourself a, a mini massage. Do things like taking a, a tennis ball and just taking your shoe off and rubbing your foot back and forth across the, the ball. You're giving yourself a mini reflexology session. So things like that can help to reduce your stress. It helps you to take a break between the roles that you play, and then you'll find that you have a better mindset when you're going into the next role. Uh, I can remember, like, when my kids were growing up. <laughs> Mine are 16 and 22, so we're on the same page. Mm-hmm. We're having babies at oh, the same yes. time. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so I remember I, I still work as a nurse. I've been a nurse for now 26 years, and I do hospice care now. And that's really right. helped me a lot with, just remembering to stay in the moment because there's someone else out there that wish that they had 10 more minutes to live or or another day just to really love on themselves. But when my kids were younger and they were growing up, I would come in from working as a nurse. And, you know, that can be stressful being a nurse. So I would run in the house and just run in the closet and hide for like 15 minutes every day. And they would see my car outside. I'd be like, well, I know mommy's here. I know she's here. I see the car. She's here. And they couldn't find me. But that was my moment to just breathe and relax and switch gears so that I wasn't upset and yelling at my kids because I was tired or because I had mm-hmm. a rough day. I had to mentally clock out from one task before I could go into the next role. So that, yeah. that's what I encourage, just, you know, making sure that we take breaks, even if it's just sitting in the car for an extra five minutes before you go into the next role or the next job or the next task that you have to do. It actually helps you to gain more mental clarity, and it's also healthy for your body to take breaks in between your roles. That is amazing. I I, I love that you said that, um, Sheree, and I want to stay right there, too, because I find that to be very important and very hard for some some women to do, and, and we're going to include the men also. Um mm-hmm. With me, for instance, when I am looking or facing my day, and I know I have multiple things to take care of, sometimes I experience anxiety because Mm -hmm. there's it's a lot that I have to get done, and I'm 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 already at the end of my day and haven't even started my day, you know, fretting on on the matter of can I get all of what I said I need to be done. So I, I want to talk about that for um, everyone that, that may be experiencing that. And, and I don't mind you sharing this with me, Cherie. Is, is that normal? I mean, is that normal for us to experience something of that nature? If we know that oh, we're yeah. facing a lot of things in a day? Okay. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah. What yeah, do yeah. you talk about? I mean, it, it's, it's very common. And, and the reason for that is because, as a society, we are obsessed with, with our to-do list, and we want everything done. And, and you know, sometimes I just did a Facebook Live uh, this week, well, last week, I'm sorry, last week, um, talking about detoxing mentally, men- a mental detox. And one of the okay. things, it's funny that you mentioned it, was, was to um, trim your to-do list. So, you know, we have to be reasonable in the task that we assign ourselves. And sometimes we think about everything we have to get done, and it looks like this big mountain of things we have to do when we really could break it down. Instead of looking at the whole month or the whole week, look at that day. And what are the things that are priority today? And then you put those mm-hmm. things in order according to priority. And the things that you don't get done, guess what? They're going to be the priority for the next day. But when we look at it as a whole week or a whole month, that's when the anxiety and that's when the stress comes in because we look at this big list and it looks like it's un- it's unattainable. We can't reach all the things we need to do. But if we prioritize and just stay organized and maybe do it day by day um, or even a half a day, if, if a whole day becomes too much for you, put it in a half a day. But the, but less is going to be better because you have a purposeful list and you can follow that list and mark them off as you get them done. Whatever doesn't get done, we have to stop obsessing about it. Detox it, put it on the list as a priority for the next day. Mm, I'm glad you said that because we actually just got a question that just came in in regards to prioritizing the day. How do you know what to prioritize? Because when you look at a list, You feel everything is important. So talk to us, Mm -hmm. um, if you will, Cherie, how do we prioritize? What do we make important? Well, the self-care is going to be on the top of your list. 
So you have to make okay. sure that you're doing things for yourself first because if you're not around, none of those things on that list is going to get done. So I always think about it like that. If I'm not healthy, if, especially as a business owner, if, if I fall, guess what? The business is going to fall too because a lot That's of us, true. especially small businesses, we're everything. We're the secretary. We're the founder. We're the CEO, the COO. We're, we're answering our own calls in, in the second person. You know how it goes. May I speak to you? Yeah, good. Um, please hold up, see if she's available. But it's really you on the line and you're answering for yourself. <laughs> so, you know, you have to make sure you're putting yourself first on the list, making sure that you're eating, you know, before you even start your day, making sure you're eating an adequate meal, you know, making sure that you got proper rest the night before. Because if you're tired and you're fatigued, your work is going to reflect it. Your day is going to reflect it. Your mood is going to reflect it. So then after you put yourself on the list first and making sure that you're doing the necessary things for yourself, look at your deadline. So what's due by what date? So when you see the date, of course, the things that are due first are going to be more priority. Um, of course, our families are priority, things like that. But, but you have to select and order them in the list in the number of priority. So the first thing I have to get done that can't wait until tomorrow is this, and then you list it. The second thing that has to be done by today is this. So you want to do it – it's better to do it day by day and then list extras. If there's time, I can do these things because then you know that those things can get pushed over to the next day. So it's important to number them, you know, maybe list five tasks a day that you know you have to get done that day. But maybe, mm-hmm. maybe you know, as they get lower on the list, the less priority they're going to have. Right. And, and I love that. I love the fact that you are sharing – um, with this, because I, I know I actually seen um, a show not too long ago where there was someone speaking that says, you know, if you have a to-do list, a to-do list is a list that you just need to do away with mm-hmm. because it will cause you stress. You should know, just as you said, you know, the things that are very important, especially if it has a, a date or if it has a timeline, that's mm-hmm. what you need to focus on. And so after hearing what you stated and then after seeing that on that particular show that I was watching, that's what I had to do. Now, I think my body may be still conditioned to just bring on anxiety because I, I realize, okay, this is a lot that I have to get done. And mm-hmm. one of the things that, that I realized, you know, because now that I, I'm in school um, obtaining my master's, you know, I'm like, okay, i got to get that done. You know, if I want to get that degree at the end, I have mm-hmm. to get this done. And the one thing that I love about my children being older is that they respect that fact. So they, they don't need me as much anymore. So when I look at my, my day of when I have time to concentrate on school, I love that part. Now, up in the day where, because I'm, I'm still working in corporate America and I'm, I'm, I'm working on my baby, which is Source Radio Network, that's where I tend to have my problem, Cherie. And, again, ladies in the lounge of Source Nation, I'm going to use myself as an example, especially if we still have multiple things that we're doing. <laughs> so that's right. where I, I, I try to figure out between – Given that time in corporate America and spending time on what I really, truly love, which is Source Radio Network, how do I divide up that time? What would your suggestion be, Cherie, when it comes to a person that's dealing with corporate America and their 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 dream and, and mm-hmm. purpose and all of that? What are your thoughts? Right. My thoughts is have a strict schedule. Because okay. if it's not down on paper, nine times out of ten, those things aren't going to happen. And so, okay. and I'm speaking from experience because I do still do hospice visits. Um, you know, my, my job does allow me to have some flexibility with my schedule. But for someone that maybe you're in the office from 8 to 5 or 8.30 to 5, and you don't have that wiggle room to get off early or anything, then I would say, you know, first of all, make sure your schedule for your business is clearly outlined for your clients. So if you're someone that can't take phone calls for your business or you can't take emails for your business, then you're the owner. You set the hours, just like a restaurant. Some restaurants don't open until 4 p.m. and they close at maybe 2 a.m. Set your hours to what you want them to be and then clearly define that to everyone around you. 
because if you, you don't have the control over your over your corporate job because they're telling you what time you have to be in. But you do have control over the hours that you work your business and the days. So I, I don't know if you remember the movie, um, I think it was The Temptations, where it says, uh, Big Red said, my, my office hours are. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but you have to tell people, my office hours are. Um, I remember speaking to um, speaking with uh, Mickey Taylor from Essence Magazine, and she said, we teach people how to do business with us. We teach them how to do business. So if you let people call you any hour that's not convenient for you, then you have to blame yourself. So clearly define your hours for your business um, and days even. Like you know the days that you're going to record the show. You know, um, you know, have that on your calendar and know that nothing else can go in that block. And that's how you stay clearly defined. People start to know what to expect of you. Have your days and times that you're going to do your Facebook Live or your advertising or your marketing or events. So everyone knows that Friday nights and Sundays, are, are, the likelihood of you getting me for anything is not going to be really strong because those are my family days. And so we teach people how to do business with us. And just, you know, making sure you're getting proper rest, making sure that you're keeping the two separate because you, you do need that corporate gig to continue to fund the dream. I love that. I love that. <laughs> Ladies in the lounge and sports station, we are speaking with you. Cherie M. Good. He's the founder and CEO of Total Harmony Enterprises, um, giving us some great information in reference to recharging our lives and being successful in doing so. You know, Cherie, I had the opportunity to um, take a look at your website, and I love the fact how you define uh, three areas um, of our life, your mind, your body, and your spirit, and you gave um, some great information um, to the difference of each. And I want to talk about that because I think that that is very important when we're dealing with our mental aspect and, and physical aspect of our lives. Now, with the mind, you said everything starts in the mind, and you said also without a healthy mindset, you cannot make healthy, reasonable, and beneficial decisions for your life as well as for your family and business. Talk about that and why that is so important for us to really understanding and be aware of yeah because you know as, as it says there everything does start in the mind every action that we take everything we do starts with a thought whether it's hey let's, it's time to get out of bed hey it's time to eat oh let me start a business everything started with a thought so if your thoughts are not clear because you're lacking rest you're not eating adequate meals because you're stressed out if your mindset is not right everything else below that is going to crumble I mean, just think about it. You start at your head. Your mind is in your head. So you start head and then work the, work your way down to the rest of your body. So just simple mm-hmm. things like um, your surroundings. Where do you spend most of your time? Um, if it's your office, if it's your home, what rooms in your home do you spend most of the time in? And I talk about mentally detoxing even your space. The way that you decorate your home um, can have an impact on your thought process. The smells that you have in your home or your surrounding areas can have an impact on your thought process, whether you're going to have a calm, relaxing day or whether you're going to be stressed out. So I really, really strongly encourage aromatherapy, um, even if it's just something like spraying lavender through through the room or getting essential oils and open up, opening it up and putting it on a rag and just laying it somewhere. Like today, my husband told me, oh, I smelled it as soon as I walked in the house. You know, he smelled eucalyptus, and that, that has a calming effect. So it is lavender, and you can use tea tree, all those things, peppermint, all those different scents help to just relax you and calm your senses. And then you do, you have mental clarity where you're able to work through whatever situation, things that used to bother you, you'll start to notice they don't bother you like they did before. And just make a conscientious effort to start to change your reaction because reaction shapes the outcome. Because if you have a situation, if it's something you can control, then you should do something about it. If it's something you can't control, then we have to teach ourselves to let it go. And that's one of the mm-hmm. hardest things that we have as humans because we want to be in control. But we can't control everything. Some things just are not in our control. And we have to learn to change our reaction so that the outcome can be different for our health. I love that. I love that. Let's transition over to uh, the body, you stated that your body is your temple. It is a fine-tuned machine that requires routine maintenance to function properly. The way you maintain your body dictates the outcome of your health. You can have proper nutrition, staying hydrated, and exercising regularly are just three important components 
of recharging your body. Let's talk about that because I'm, I can tell you now, a lot of folks neglect that area as well. What are your thoughts? Indeed. You know, as you just read from my website, we're fine-tuned machines. I mean, God has Mm -hmm. specifically made us perfectly to a T. You know, without your thumb, you can't adequately grab things. I mean, we didn't think of this stuff. It had to be a higher being that did that, right? And so we, we have to maintain what we've been given. So think about your car. You would never get in your car and drive it and drive it and never change the oil and never put fuel in it. Why? Because it wouldn't work for much longer if you kept doing that, right? <laughs> it's going to break down. Mm-hmm. Well, the same thing with our bodies. If we're not if we're not hydrating, we're not properly fueling it with with nourishing foods, um, then it's going to it's going to start to break down. We're going to start to feel older than what we actually are. If we don't move our muscles, they're going to atrophy and wither away, and we're not going to be able to function like we want to. So we have to take care of this gift that we've been given. Another way to think about it is if if you have like a computer. Our computers, if we just let our computers run 24 hours a day and never had a shutdown moment to cool down to, for, for it to reboot and, and just take in new information, guess what? It, it will burn out. Well, the same thing with our minds and our bodies. If we don't take mm-hmm. moments and time to restore it, to reboot, to re- recharge our batteries, then, then we're going to burn out. So in order to avoid physical and mental burnout, we have to take time to recharge our batteries, unplugging from everything else around us and plugging into ourselves and actually nourishing this gift called life that we have. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you this right here is so important. Not too long ago, a few years ago, um, Cherie, I was going through a lot, going through a divorce and um, was working with uh, a Fox television station um, at that time, and my contract wasn't renewed, and it was just, it was crazy. And I failed to just take care of myself. I let things go, um, sunk into a depression, and um, wasn't eating right. No, I wasn't exercising. I just did not want to do a thing. And when I tell you, when I was trying to focus on uh, different projects, trying to focus on where I was going to take my life from not having a husband, now becoming a single mother, taking care of two boys, and then trying to figure out what I was going to do with work, I couldn't put anything together because I neglected myself. I think that that is so important that you are bringing awareness to that because in order for us to function, our body, just as you said, it has to be well Yes. Well, to yes. And if it's not, it will let us down quick. <laughs> so I love right. the fact that you are bringing awareness to that. Let's talk about spirit because in spirit, you stated um, on your website is to be happy, healthy, and feel total harmony in your life. You must know yourself inside out. You must let go of the undesired things in your past. Forgive yourself and others in order to move forward and walk in your greatness. Oh, my goodness, how amazing <laughs> is this? I am shaking my head and smiling. Oh, <laughs> this is so true, so true. Talk to us about this, and why is this so important for us to understand as well? It's so Well, some people may have a higher being, some people may not. If you have a higher being, you have a God to pray to, but, but not everybody's religious. So when I talk about spirit, we're not just talking about religion or higher being. We're talking about actually knowing yourself, knowing what makes you tick. And that's, that's a part of self-care, really getting to know yourself. What makes me upset? So guess what? When these situations come up that start to stress you out, you already know how to combat it. You put up that shield like, hey, you're not, about, you're not getting there. You're not destroying the spirit today. You know, you have to know what makes yourself tick. And as far as forgiving others and forgiving yourself, guess what? We're all imperfect. You're not going to find a perfect person on the face of the earth. If you do, please bring them to me. I would love to meet them. <laughs> but we've all mm-hmm. made mistakes. The most successful person will tell you. Um, I just was listening to Steve Harvey yesterday. Um, someone posted his live from his conference, and he was saying he slept in his car for three for three years. He slept yeah. in his car. Mm-hmm. Three years? Like, wow. Mm-hmm. You know, so he obviously made some mistakes. You're talking about a man that was filthy rich. He said he lost it all twice. 
and now he has another chance to do it again. So we all make mistakes. And so we have to just, you know, be a little more lenient on ourselves and learn from the mistakes and, and never do those things again so that we don't end up in the same place. But when we're angry with someone else and the hurt that someone else caused us, then it, it holds us down like an anchor. It's like somebody threw an anchor over a boat and just let it drop to the bottom. Guess what? You're going to stay stuck right there if you don't forgive that person. And, and the important part to remember is that the forgiveness is not for them. The forgiveness is for you so that you can move forward, so you can be successful mm-hmm. and move on with your life. Uh, my number one bestseller, the uh, crash that altered my life. You know, we, I talk about my uh, horrific divorce that I went through. And when I first started telling that story and I first started telling my story and sharing that book, I told it from a place of being a victim. And now I tell that story so differently because I have forgiven and I've moved on with my life. Now I tell it from a place of triumph, a place of survival, a person that now has overcome a horrific situation. So that's what, that should mm-hmm. be our goal, to take our hurts, to take our, our past um, experiences that have that have shaped us into who we are today and appreciate the journey that it took to get you to where you are and the successful person you are today. You know what? That is so true. And thank you so much, Sharif, for sharing that. Because as you were speaking on the spirit, there were, like I said, there were a lot of things that, that I was going through several years ago. And um, forgiving, being able to forgive myself in that failed marriage, being able to forgive myself for not having the contract renewed and not understanding why it was renewed, but yet I had to transition from those two areas in order to be where I am now. You know, I often tell people, I said, you know, once all of that took place, I said I did not want to do media anymore because media for me, this has been my life for over 22 years. And, you know, up until three years ago, I wanted to do something totally different. I didn't want to do this anymore. (laughs) But, you know, God brought me back to it. He just said, we're just going to do some things a little bit different. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm I'm going to show you that you are not going to have a voice. And not only that, you're going to be able to give back opportunity. And, you know, and Cherie, when I tell you that the last three years, um, has been nothing but amazing. And I see all the blessings that God has bestowed on me and what he's placing before me now. It's just simply remarkable. And, you know, and I'm excited. I'm excited about that. You know, and I, I think that just as you said, sometimes you, you have to just take a step back and realize that mind, body, and spirit is something um, that we have to pay attention to, and it's something that we we should be receptive of, and and continue to work on it because it only makes you a better person, you know. Mm-hmm. And it I makes you I, whole. I believe in that. Yeah. yeah, it makes you whole. That's right. I believe in that. And I so mm-hmm. when you, when you talked about forgiveness, yes, I had I had to do a lot of that because I felt. You know, people were doing me wrong. My ex husband, mm-hmm. he did me wrong. The the managers and and the 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 general managers at the television station they did me wrong my co-workers did me wrong Mm -hmm. (laughs) all of that i was feeling and i said okay you know kathy in order for you to get where you're going and and i really do believe the way that i feel now and my outlook on life i had to do all of that to get where Mm -hmm. i am so I, I think that that is very important. Awesome job on that. So what else are are you sharing with, with the ladies, and what else do you feel is very important once we understand mind, body, and spirit? What are your thoughts about that? Well, uh, starting this week, um, actually uh, April is Stress Management Awareness Month. And okay. so, you know, uh, it's April, April, the whole month of April. So the whole month of April I've dedicated to doing a Total Recharge Ultimate Teleclass Series. And so I have seven um, outstanding professionals in their areas that are going to do just what we talked about, touch on mind, body, and spirit. It's a telephone series. So it's totally free. The only thing uh, listeners have to do is invest their time. And so I'd like to invite your audience as well to just call in. Um, 
the flyer is actually um, on my Facebook. They can follow me, follow me at Sheree M. Good, but it actually starts this week. We'll be doing two okay. calls a week with a different professional each week, and um, it's going to be just a conference call. You call in, and we're going to talk about each topic. So we're kicking it off this week with your mind. Um, we have someone from NAMI, which is the National Association for Mental Illness, that's going to be talking about um, ways to – basically refresh your mind and keep your, your mental healthy. Because, again, like mm-hmm. you said, everything starts in the mind, so we have to make sure we're feeding our mind positive thoughts because those positive thoughts are going to lead to positive actions. And so, you know, everyone can tune into that, um, and, and we can always give you the information to share with your audience as well. So I have that yes, going on please. this month. <laughs> mm-hmm. I will make sure that you get that information so you can have the flyer for your audiences. Um, so we have that going on. As well as I'm gearing up for the seventh annual Let's Get Serious Health, uh, Let's Get Serious and Recharge Health Wellness Fitness Expo, and, and that's seven mm-hmm. years strong. As we mentioned, we get a slew of people to come out. We have over 700 attendees already registered, and, and that's totally free to the community as well. That's going to be May 27th from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. at the Double Tree by Hilton um, in Pikesville, Maryland. So anybody in Maryland who's tuning in. Come on out. Even if you're not in Maryland, you want to take a trip, come on. We have people from out of state every <laughs> every year that come out. But it's totally free to the community to attend, and it's just a great time. I'm working on a recharge book. Um, that's another thing I'm working on. I'm also working on a, okay. total, re- a total recharge retreat that's going to be coming up soon, um, hopefully in August. Those are, I'm looking at August the 18th through the 20th. It's a weekend retreat um, mm-hmm. where we can just really relax, rejuvenate, refresh ourselves. Uh, just take a break from the norm and, and go somewhere and relax at a, ret- at a resort. Wow. Awesome. Well, Cherie, I think <laughs> you are doing some wonderful and amazing things. I love our conversation today, definitely giving us some great information about understanding our mind, body, and spirit. And I love the fact that uh, we spoke about being able to prioritize our lives because it is very important and, and really taking the time out for self. Um, you, you validated a lot of things for me, and I'm, I'm definitely going to implement, and I'm sure the ladies here in the lounge will be the same also. As we are wrapping up our conversation uh, today, we love to leave either with some encouraging word or maybe some tips and advice that we have not shared in today's conversation. If you wish to contribute, I would love you to do so at this time. Sure. Just remember that everything starts in the mind. Um, just like we say, you are what you eat, you are what you feed your mind, you are what you what you feed yourself. So if you're not feeding yourself positive thoughts, then you're not going to get positive energy back out. And the energy that we give to others is the energy that we receive. So when we walk into a room, we should be a beacon of light for others, be a source of encouragement to others. That's what we can do to recharge someone else. The best source of recharging your own batteries is to ignite someone else's light. And so uh, make sure you're taking 10 minutes, at least 10 minutes every day, just to just love on yourself. And remember that self-care is not selfishness. Um, I would love for everyone to please take the free recharge quiz on my website, TotalHarmonyEnterprises.com, TotalHarmonyEnterprises.com. There's a free recharge quiz there to let you know if you're adequately performing self-care. If not, you know what, do the self-work and start loving on yourself. And I appreciate I you am. having me in the lounge today. You're welcome. You're welcome. I'm definitely <laughs> going on and, and take the self-assessment. I'm eager to see what it will say about me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to do that, Cherie. Thank you, thank you for coming in. And, again, share with the ladies, how can we get more information about you and continue to support you in your efforts? Where can we go once again? Uh, TotalHarmonyEnterprises.com. Um, on all your social media, I'm Cherie, C-H-E-R-E, M, good, uh, good with an E on the end, G-O-O-D-E, Cherie M. Good on all your social media. Please look me up, friend me, follow me. I would love to have your support. And um, if anyone's interested in coming out to the Let's Get Serious Expo, it's Let's Get Serious 2017.eventbrite.com. And then for anyone who wants to be a part of the teleclass series, um, we can take, I think, up to 100 people on the teleclass series each night. Um, so you don't want to wait to call in until the last minute, but you can dial into 866-215-0455 or visit us on the web at uberconference.com. 
backslash recharge with Cherie. And you can take part in all of our series, the Total Recharge series, and, and we're going from mind all the way to your body, fitness. We're even doing recharging your finances, your business, um, creating calm and chaos, and then we're even finishing up the whole monthly series with how to style your home for to create a place of calm and peace. I love it. I love it, Cherie. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here in the lounge, Gave, giving us great information. We definitely <laughs> are going to continue to support you. You know that you have a home here at Source Radio Network. You're welcome anytime to come back and share more great information with us. I enjoyed talking with you today. I enjoyed it, too. Thank you so much for having me. You are welcome. Thank you. Well, well, ladies, here in the lounge, you heard it right there from Miss Cherie M. Good. Came in tonight and gave us some great information. She is the founder and CEO of Total Harmony Enterprises. You know, uh, she is known as the recharge strategist. What I love about our conversation and what Cherie had to say, uh, to say was the fact that you need to take care of, you know, certain areas in your life. She spoke about the mind. She spoke about the body as well as spirit. And I just want to take just a little bit of information from all three and and just say that this is very important for all of us to do in order for us to lead successful lives. With the mind, she says, everything that starts Everything starts in the mind, and without having a healthy mindset, you cannot make healthy and reasonable beneficial decisions for yourself as well as your family. And then, of course, with your body. Understand that your body is a temple. It is a fine-tuned machine that requires routine maintenance to function properly as well as your spirit. You want to be happy healthy and feel total harmony in your life you must know yourself inside out great information that she has shared and i'm just going to say in order for us to have a successful life make sure that we are implementing these ways into our lives in your mind in your body in your spirit because guess what you are not a better you if you do not do that and that's what she taught us tonight, ladies. She told us that that's what we have to do. And don't feel as though you cannot take time out for yourself because you deserve it. <laughs> that is something I definitely am going to do. Take time out for myself and make sure that I don't feel as though I'm taking from anyone else because I cannot be the best me if I don't do it. Awesome information. All of our information and more can be found on Kathy B. Source Radio Network, as well as our main station page, Source Radio Network. Love having her into the studio. Guys, thank you so much for listening to the Ladies' Lounge. Again, wonderful ladies in the studio with me today. Definitely begin to support them and enrich your lives for better. Thank you, guys. Have a blessed evening. <laughs>